The query engine in Altium Designer can be used to search for text string objects. For example, you can find the name of a component footprint, net class, or a single net. The query language can also be used to search using incomplete strings. The query engine can also be used to search using incomplete strings. For example, groups of signals often have a common stem in their net names. These can be located and filtered with a query. To search for net objects, use the inNet command. But instead of the name, type the expression A with an asterisk. The asterisk symbol is a special symbol that replaces one or more objects in the current string. All primitives which belong to a net starting with A and with any continuation thereof will satisfy this query. The substitution symbol can be placed anywhere in the string text as well as in several places at once, for example, in the has footprint 0603 query. This query will show all components that have the substring 0603 anywhere in the footprint name. The other substitution symbol is a question mark. This will perform the same function, but imposes a stricter condition as it only replaces one symbol. For example, the inNet A query will give no result, as there is no net with a name containing two symbols where the first symbol is A. To search for nets, we would need to add another question mark. Thus, we replace two arbitrary symbols after A. Now let's look at the specifics of using queries with string values that are not fully defined. There are two ways to transfer a string as a query parameter. Some commands will accept strings as bracketed arguments. These are in net, has footprint, or in component. When you use these commands, all you have to do is replace part of the string with a substitution symbol. The second case is when the user directly checks the value of a parameter or property when an equal sign appears in the query. For example, the name property is used to search by name, such as in component and name equals d1. In this case, after replacing the symbol with a substitution symbol, we won't get any result. We need to notify the query system that the search is performed on a string that is not fully defined. To do this, the equal symbol must be replaced with the like operator.